Russian soldiers refuse to perform combat missions in Kharkiv region due to losses. Lieutenant Colonel Nazar Voloshin, spokesman for the Kortitsia Operational and Strategic Group of Troops of Ukraine, reported on the situation in the Kharkiv sector. He told about it on Espresso TV channel. Numerous cases of refusal of the enemy personnel, in particular from the assault detachment of the 153rd Tank Regiment of the 47th Tank Division of the Russian Armed Forces, to perform their tasks are observed. Because they have lost several people in their command, the Russians refuse to carry out combat missions. This is happening at the level of specific units and individual refusals. That is why they are not doing so well there. In the Vovchansk sector, Ukrainian defenders are knocking out small enemy tactical groups represented by the 153 3rd Tank Regiment of the 47th Tank Division. They were advancing in the residential area of Vovchansk, but were stopped there and pushed back, he said. The Russian forces are not giving up their attempts to conduct active hostilities. However, the defense forces of Ukraine are pushing back the enemy, Voloshin said. Russian state media and senior officials continue to say its troops are on the advance in the direction of Kharkiv. President Vladimir Putin has claimed that Russian losses were, of course, several times less than on the Ukrainian side, and the Kremlin has also gone to great lengths to ensure that accounts such as Andreev's are kept from the public. Ever since Yevgeny Prigozhin's aborted mutiny in the summer of 2023, Moscow has purged some of the leading nationalist voices who had been allowed to criticize the country's war efforts. It has jailed Igor Strelkov, a popular nationalist blogger and former FSB officer who had become a vocal critic of how the Kremlin has handled the invasion and last month authorities arrested Major General Ivan Popov, a widely respected commander in Russia who brought up problems on the battlefield, including deaths and injuries the army was suffering from Ukrainian attacks. The cohort of influential military bloggers now largely tow the government line, painting an upbeat picture of Moscow's advances while predicting Ukraine's immediate collapse. But on social media, dozens of posts have sprung up with Russians searching for their missing relatives in the Kharkiv offensive, hinting at a staggeringly high number of losses Moscow continues to suffer. Some relatives have criticized the minimal training troops reportedly received before the offensive. Despite the mass casualties, overall support for the war in Russia remains high, driven partly by non-stop state propaganda and a lack of alternative viewpoints. Hamburg flooded with rain. Judging by the forecast, today the citizens are waiting for a respite, and from tomorrow the showers will charge for the whole week. South of Hamburg, heavy thunderstorms caused flooding on the tracks. The railway line between Hamburg and Bremen was therefore temporarily closed, the track was now drivable again, but only at reduced speed, according to a spokesperson for Deutsche Bahn. This resulted in delays of approximately 15 minutes. It remained unclear when regular service would resume. In Baden-Württemberg, several railway lines had to be interrupted due to weather damage. Rakal, the next Euro match will be held at the local stadium on July 5th, and in the meantime it is possible to hold the CHE on water polo. Judging by the footage, the Open Championship of Underwater Skating on Giants has already started. The 30,000 stadium in Hoffenheim, for example, is already fully ready to receive water polo players. Since the beginning of the month, farmers have suffered huge losses in the south of Germany, there, the spill of the Danube and other rivers destroyed wheat crops and part of the infrastructure. The German Weather Service predicts changeable weather for the north. In Hamburg and Schleswig-Holstein, temperatures of 21 to 26 degrees are expected. Numerous thunderstorms in wide parts of Germany are mainly concentrated in the south and east. Thunderstorms are expected only occasionally in other areas. Heavy rain and thunderstorms in large parts of Germany led to numerous interventions by the fire department due to lightning strikes and flooding, as well as traffic disruptions. Affected areas included North Rhine-Westphalia, Thuringia, Hesse, Hamburg, Lower Saxony, Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and Baden-Württemberg. 